In this video, I'll share how I organize everything school related like courses, notes, and assignments in Obsidian MD. This is more of a step-by-step -step tutorial for the setup I have in my previous Obsidian video for school use, so be sure to watch that first if you haven't already. I'll have a GitHub repository where you can download the vault I'm going to make in this video, but I'd recommend you watch and go through the process with me so you're not confused from trying to blindly use someone else's templates. Without any further ado, let's begin. So right now I just have a completely new vault that I just made just to show you how to implement everything from scratch. So first off, I would have a school note. I'm just going to create one real quick. Call it school mock. And then I'm just going to add things like the title and some different headers you may want to have in here. Remember that I'm only sharing an example and that the structure of this note and all these other notes is completely up to you. So I'm just going to include stuff like classes and maybe just the general notes for anything school related. So maybe here you could have like study tips or information about your school. So school information. And then obviously you can just create these into actual notes just by clicking on them. So the plan here is to have a note for each course you're taking and then in that note you can organize the different notes you have for that course. So let's create a table that displays all of our courses. To do this we'll use Data View, which is a community plugin that you can download. Turn off safe mode and then let's just browse. Should be somewhere here. Yep. Data view. Data view lets you turn your vault into a database that you can query from. So basically you can use different filters and different logic to display only certain notes from your vault. We're going to use it to organize our courses, assignments, and more using the tables. So to create a table using data view, you just like to create three backticks to create a code block. At the top, you just want to type in data view. And since we're making a table, just type in table. And after table, you can include any metadata or information you want to display. In this case, I'd like to display the year and semester of the course. Next up, you'll have to say where you're pulling these notes from. So you can pull notes from depending on what folder they're in, what tags they have, or what links they have. So in this case, we're just going to pull them from and then any note that has a course tag in it. So that should be the bare minimum for creating a query. As you can see here, it shows zero results because we don't have any notes that have the course tag in it. So now I'm just going to open up a new pane, just like so. So if this were to be a course note, let's just say it's Math 100, we would include the tag course and then we can populate it with whatever we want. And as you can see, it's now in here. And if you want to add information like the year semester, you'll have to add front matter. And to do that, you just have three minus signs at the top and the bottom. And then in here you would put year and then let's just say year one and then let's say semester two. So then it should update in the table like so. And you can also add other things like maybe the professor name. Let's just say um, epic, epic prof. And then if you want to go back and edit and have it display the professor name as well, you just add it like so. If you want to make a specific query just for a certain semester, let's just say um, first semester in the first year, you can add another line that includes where, and then you can set up a logic expression. So you can say where year equals one and semester equals one. There you go. So then if we create another note, let's just say math 200, which is the second year math course. And then we just copy this, but have it set to semester two. It will not show in this table. So now that we have a rough structure, let's get into the contents of a class note. I usually like to have two sections. The first section is just for course outlines in which I'll have two kinds. I'll have one based on connections, like a concept map, and I'll have one based on specific lectures for easy reference. So in this case, I'll just have something like Math 100 Outline, which is to have the different concepts. 
and then one called Math 100 Lectures, just so I can organize all the information in chronological order. And then you can also have a header for assignments. And then in here, you can just do the same thing as you did using data view, but instead you can just have a new tag called assignment. There we go. And then you can tag any new assignment you have with the tag and it'll show up here. Another alternative is to head over here to your file explorer, create a new folder called assignments. And then in here, you can, instead of using a hashtag, you would put in the name of the folder in quotation marks. So then let's just say we had an assignment note, math assignment, and just create it real quick. If we drag this into here, it shows up in the table. And of course, you can add more metadata like the deadline and it will show up in the table. And you can do the same process for anything you need to keep track of, like articles, lecture notes, etc. I would also recommend you add a link back to your main school note. So let's just put one for school. So then we can easily traverse back and forth. And if you want, you can also use this front matter to include tags. So instead of having it here, you can just have it in here. And then if we head to the school note, it still shows up there. Of course, having to do this for all your different courses and notes would be quite tedious. So I'm going to download another community plugin called Templator, which is basically the default one on steroids. I like using Templator because you can have hotkeys for different templates and also because it lets you automatically insert templates into notes. So why don't we create some templates that we can use? First off, I'm just going to create a course template and then I'm just going to open the math one here for reference copy everything and remove oops remove the things related to this course and just keep only the essentials of course not every course is named math 100 so what you can do is use the built-in variables in templator they have one for the title so i'm just gonna import it right here and to do so you just have the left arrow and a percentage and then you put in the variable name so in this case it's just the file title as you can see right here and then you just close it off like so so now if you were to load the template the title would turn into the title of the note you can also do the same for these so i'm just going to copy paste this real quick and put it into here so then once you create the note it'll automatically complete these to be the relevant course there you go. I'd say this is good enough of a foundation for our course template. So let's move on to our note one. So I'm just going to create a note template, which we'll just use for all of our notes. And here I'll just have, so in here, I'm just going to put tags, links, and then a nice little divider, put the title variable again. If you want, you can also include when you created the note. So you could just do created and then I think the process for this is to just have tp.date now and then just have it set up like this. So it'll replace this with the year, this with the month, and this with the date. Close it just to make sure it works. I'm going to test it real quick. Replace. And yeah, there you go. I'm going to create a new folder for templates and then I want to put both of them in here. And then what we can do is set to settings, templator, and we can set the folder that stores all our templates. We can enable this option right here, which replaces all variables we set into their appropriate content. And then over here, we can have a hotkey for our course template note. We can just configure it to maybe like control shift O. And then if we head back, you can also add folder templates as explained right here. You can set up a global default template for all your notes just by having a slash. And then here, let's choose the note template. You can also do something similar for assignments. So if you were to create a note in your assignments folder, you can use an assignments template. So let's say we wanted to create a new note. You can press control O. And let's say we were doing a physics course. So we just do phys 100. 
it automatically imported the default one for all of our notes, but we could easily just delete it and then press Control shift o to import the course template that we made. And as you can see, all the variables worked and we can just fill stuff in as we please. And then we can edit this. We can see that it also worked for the stuff in the code blocks. So then if you were to create an outline, as you can see, automatically imports the template and we can just start putting things in. So let's just say using these templates and the structure and just start building your second brain. If you're unsure on how to take notes, you can just dump everything into a temporary lecture note and just organize them into conceptual notes later. For example, I'm just going to create a new note called lecture, let's just say like Fizz Lecture 25. And then over here, let's just say we had important information like physics is cool. Wow, I learned this new physics concept. And you can just have different headers. So concept one, let's turn this into concept two. This is just for if you don't have that much time during class to organize everything and you just want to vomit everything into one place. What I would do is add a tag for these kinds of notes that you want to process later. So let's just call it to process. And then you want to head back to your school note and then add a new header called to process, create another data view table. And as you can see, it shows up and we can just access it. That's how I would set up my pro uh, note processing workflow if I were to just start out. So then you can go to this note and then you can say, okay, I want to turn this into its separate note. So then you can extract this heading into a note with the heading as the title. And then you can head over here, concept one note, and you can do the same thing here, but you can also just do the extract current selection into its own note. That's just an example on how you can process your notes. This was all I really wanted to go over because using these plugins like data view and templator, it could be a bit confusing if you don't really code that much. So yeah, hopefully this helped. If you want to watch a video on how to possibly organize your notes itself, I have a concept mapping video that I would recommend you watch. In the video, I just show an example on how I turn some linear notes into more conceptual ones that Obsidian supports. If you have any more questions or you just want to chat with me, you can just email me or book a consultation session, link in description. And yeah, this has been John Maverick. Stay mindful.